What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends box set on the Toys R Us exclusive Marvel's A-Force. You get this Velcro tab on the right side, you can see all the figures right over here, we get six of them. And we have the six characters on the left side right over there, and we have bios for each. So if you want to read the bio, you can go ahead and pause it now. And then on the side we get these very nice images again, and then on the back you can see this whole setup looking very cool. So let's get to it and crack these things open. And here's Singularity out of the packaging, cute little Singularity over there, extremely overpowered. I'll talk about the bio of this character in just a little bit, but I really like this figure a lot. This is actually one of my favorite ones from this box set. I just really love how this figure came out. We're seeing a lot of retooled stuff, but we do get a new head sculpt, so let's get a closer look. So talking about the history of Singularity and comparing this figure to some images I found online, uh, I gotta say, originally I thought that she was the Cosmic Cube incarnate in this person form right here, but I guess I was wrong about that because Wikipedia told me that she was originally a meteorite streaking across the sky and landed into the arms of the runaway Nico Minoru and they became friends and joined A-Force or became part of A-Force. Uh, but I do know that for certain she is overpowered, like ridiculously overpowered. She has blast power, dimensional manipulation, flight, gravity control, matter absorption, shape-shifting abilities, size manipulation, telekinesis, and teleportation. So she could do just about anything. But look at the head sculpt, uh, not until just recently looking at this through the viewfinder very, very up close. I do think that the paint on her face is just a little caked on there, but not too bad. I think for the most part she does look beautiful. I really like it a lot. I like the facial expression. Uh, most of the time I see her smiling and she kind of has a smirk over here, so I like that. You know, not too much of an exaggerated smirk, or it could just be wishful thinking. But we get some nice clean white paint right here for her eyes, and I like that we get this dark blue over the light blue translucent plastic and I love the glitter in the plastic it's just throughout on the whole figure it looks fantastic and I especially love this pearlescent purple color that we're getting and this keeps showing up on the figure and I like how the hair looks this is just fantastic I really dig this a lot really one of the more stunning pieces of the set I think and we've seen this female body mold before numerous times and you can see we get more of that purple paint, but not so much on this side. And it's just kind of thrown in there, here and there. Uh, she does have this open hand on her left side, which I wish she had an open hand for her right side as well. I'm not a huge fan of her having a fist right here. I feel like it could have gotten her into more appropriate poses for the character with two open hands. And you're just looking at the lower torso, looking really good. And we get those teenage nagas looking great once more. And then, again, the glitter in this translucent blue plastic just looks stunning to me. I love it. You can see that we have more darker blue over sprayed right here or mixed in there. I don't know how they've done it exactly, but I like it. And then we get those nice glittery toes right over there. Not looking too bad. Well, not the toes themselves, but her feet anyway. But yeah, you can see more of that purple added right there. She still has peg holes under her feet. Now, as much as I love the new head sculpt, the hair does hinder the articulation a bit. You cannot really get her looking up too much. She will look up just a little bit, but not as much as I'd like her to. So uh, you can get her head moving downward quite a bit, and she does have that shifting forward and back thing going on, so you do get some really good head pivot. And of course, you can turn her head left and right very easily. She has shoulders that move all the way up, and you can move them all the way down. You can rotate 360. The single jointed elbow, that's actually better than most, because this does bend in more than 90 degrees. I still prefer my double jointed elbow. Sorry, don't want to repeat myself too much right there. She also has a swivel at the elbow. She has a swivel at the wrist, hinges up and down. Same thing with this side over here. She has a diaphragm joint, and it moves forward a little bit, and back some, and you also get some diaphragm pivot. Uh, you can move the hips out, whoop, can move the hips outward that far, and and she will kick forward just that much. I wish she could kick forward more than that. And back a little bit, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, calf rotation, ankles move down, ankles move up, and she does have ankle pivot. Now to measure out this Singularity figure, you can see that she's standing just a little under six and a half inches tall. Then here's Singularity compared to what I believe is the core A-Force team members. Now, the A-Force team is actually all of the MCU female characters. That's from my understanding. But from my research, I saw these six characters over here as being the main ones that that we see in most of the comic book covers, so I think this is the core group. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. But anyway, we have She 
She-Hulk over here, we have the very difficult to stand Medusa, we have Dazzler, Nico, and Captain Marvel. And then here's Singularity next to all the other figures from this box set. And I gotta say overall, I really like this box set a lot. I think it cost me about 120 bucks to get all of these, and I don't think that was a bad price for all of these figures over here. But anyway, ranking these figures, and keep in mind, I really do like all of them. I don't want to sell any of them. I want to keep them all, but I'm still ranking them over here with She-Hulk at the very bottom! Yeah, that one's the most disappointing. Uh, I've been wanting a new She-Hulk, and I really think Hasbro missed the mark with this She-Hulk figure. Uh, I want another one, Hasbro. And then that second from the bottom, we got Loki over there, which I wasn't really too excited about them making that figure, but I think it's a very good-looking figure. And then next, I'm going to give it to Lady Sif. Lady Sif, I really wanted a lot, and it's actually one of the ones that I was really hoping to like the most, but because of that cape and everything, it just hinders so much articulation that I'm a little bit bummed out with it, but uh, I still like it a lot. And then next would be Elsa Bloodstone. I really like this Elsa Bloodstone figure quite a bit, man. I'm very pleased with it, but they took away the clivage, so it's got to go down a peg. And then next, I'm giving it to Monica Rambo, a character that we've seen in a lot of important story arcs, so I'm very happy to finally have a Monica Rambo. And then the number one figure spot goes to Singularity. This is just such a visual delight over here. It's a new, very powerful character. I have her up on my display already. I mean, I put her on the display right away with my Avengers villains, because originally I thought she was a Cosmic Cube incarnate. I don't know if she still counts as a villain, so I may have to put her somewhere else on the display. But still, I love the figure. She's awesome. I really like it a lot. Very good set overall. I'd like to know what your ranking is. Please leave a comment about it below. And then comparing Singularity to your average six inch scale figure, here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider-Man. Kobik! I got the character confused with Kobik. Yeah, it's hard for me to remember all the characters, man. Sorry, my brain don't always work so good. <laughs> didn't even take the time to read the bio of the packaging? Yeah, way to prove that you're only in it for the money, Shardamus! But yeah, I had Singularity confused with Kobik, that's who it was. But anyway, regardless, I still like this figure a lot. I mean, as an action figure, again, like I said, it is a visual delight. I think it's absolutely stunning. And I do like this young female body mold still. It really works for this character, so I recommend this box set, man. Even though I had my complaints, I still think it's a very good set. And I hope you guys recommend this review. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know which ones are your favorite from this box set. Also, if you want to hit that subscribe button for more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way, please go ahead and do so. If you're already subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know immediately when the next Shardimus Prime video is posted. And I gotta thank all of these awesome people over here for supporting this YouTube channel and helping me keep this dream of action figure reviewing alive. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it will all be over at MarvelousNews.com and you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description below. Hopefully I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what strangers say. I'm gonna play with my toys today. That's crispy. Hey, I'm short of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.